Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. I have a couple of videos that I'm going to film for you guys. I am waiting on an order to come in. I believe it's my Scentsy Holiday Brooks. I haven't seen them yet. I see everybody else get getting theirs. So I'm waiting on that. Um, I have a couple of things I want to show you that I picked up at my local grocery store. And then I have my Scentsy Empties that I wanted to show you what I had gotten through. So the first thing I wanted to show you are these... Um, the Yankee Candle centerpieces. These are original like $5 or $6 in store, depending on if you're at the outlet or if you are at the box store. What's going on, Jazzy Sue? It is so beautiful here today in Michigan. The sun is shining. It is 70 degrees. I cannot believe that. Um, I don't remember the last time it was this nice in November, but everybody is just like holding their breath because we know that the best is yet to come with snow and ice and all the things. Um, so I'm taking advantage of it. We did mow our front yard, pick up some leaves. We have windows open. I'm filming all the good things. So this one's called Jack-O-Lantern. And I got them for $1.49 and that's such a great deal. And I'm going to plug in the one I'm going to show you here in a second near uh, Jazz's Kitty Litter. This one smells really good. It smells like, um, it reminds me of something and I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not sure, but I do like the smell of it. I don't know why I always tickle the bottom of my lip. Um, so I picked up, they only had one of these. I would have bought what they had, but this is all I could find. And I got three of this one and it's called Mystic Moon. Again, it's got the clearance sticker on there, $1.49, not bad. And this one smells like a man. It smells kind of like patchouli and man. So I'm going to put this in her, that little warmer, that uh, gold centerpiece um, that I have from Yankee Candle. So I wanted to show you, I didn't have much other things to show you from a proper haul, so I thought I'd show you in this empties video. First thing up is winter berry apple tea. This is the Scentsy Pods that you can put in your Scentsy Go or your wall diffusers. This is in my garage, and I think I'm on like going on week three, or I know it's been over two weeks, and it is performing so well as a Scentsy Pod that I finally put a set in my car I absolutely love this. I will be placing another order to get more in backup because I like this so much. I told you guys that um, I have the Scentsy Soak, so I might as well show you this. Um, it's still available. This is a holiday edition. It's limited edition. It's only $12. I use more than my fair share that I probably should be using in my tub, but I love it so much that I think this is like my second bag. I'm on my third bag already. Um, it smells so good. It's winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. And we as leaders in Scentsy are asking the Scentsy gods to please make this a body care line. It would be amazing. So anyways, I went through one of these. It's in the garage right now. And then my winterberry apple tea soak and you can get the scrub. I haven't used the scrub yet because I'm still working on the butter pecan. I don't want to just have a bunch of things open because I'm not sure like once you open it, like how long it's good for. Um, so I just went ahead and haven't opened it yet. I might open it now though. Then I went ahead and used my apples and oats sample that I got in my uh, advent calendar because this was open. Um, I put it here in this room and it smells so good. This is a very popular scent. I like it a lot. I have several bars on hand because I know my customers locally will like them. Another good one for the holidays is Happy Holly Day. This one it surprised me. Like I love it and I'm also confused by it. It smells so good. It smells like a slight hint of a Christmas scent in the background with like a really pretty flowery perfume scent. And I really, really like it. I have a couple bars of that. Um, in the pods, it's really good too, but it, it smells a little different. You can't really smell these because I had these in my dining room. In the room behind this here, I had this here. Behind this wall here, I have a diffuser, the snowflake one that is so adorable. It has snowflakes on the ground from the light in there. 
and I had this one going for over a week and it performed really, really well in that spot. So these are limited. Um, I don't know how long they'll be available, but that is the scent pods for that same wax I just told you about. I actually went through two of them. I'm trying to think what I did with the other one. Where did I have it? Oh, the garage before my um, winter berry tea. You might as well stick with, I've already gone through another one of these. That surprises me. Um, oh, I'm sorry, because I told you I put a set in my car. Forgive me. And then a Berry Bless. I'm still on the fence with this one. I don't hate it and I don't love it. It's not like my favorite, but it is so popular. And everybody I sell this to, they love this scent. I think it's because it's got peach in it. I don't know for sure if it really is peach, but sometimes peach is very, um, uh, like body odor, like your underarms stink to me. I, it's so weird. I know. I don't mind it, but I just have to be very careful with peach because it could be kind of headache inducing in my world. I used up a bar of the sweet plum pastry that my really good friend here on YouTube and in real life, Anna, she sent this to me as a gift and she is so amazing. She has a YouTube channel. If I remember, I'll link it down below for you. Um, it's Anna McNabb. And um, she sent me her very last bar of sweet plum pastry, which was so kind. Sorry. Um, so that I could try it. This is becoming available at the end of this month, like on November 23rd. They have moved up the Bring Back My Bar um, so that they will be available this month. And so I'm very excited to get some more of these. I had I got it in the mail from her, put it in my hallway, and was immediately satisfied with what this smells like. Everybody and their brother talks about this and it is really, really good. And so I'm excited to smell it again when I get some more. So that is a bring back my bar. It probably will go right into my scent club. Autumn road trip, you guys. Where has this been all my life? Everybody was talking about how wonderful this smelled and how great it was. And I was like, yeah, I'm cold. It smells like Christmas and it's got like a little sweet scent to it. But once it hits your warmers and it starts warming, it transforms into one of the best scents that I have ever smelled. I have already got to order some more of this. I enjoyed it so much. Now, keep in mind, you guys, I have several warmers all over my house. So that's why I go through a lot of wax in pods because I'm constantly changing them out. Like as soon as I can't smell it anymore, I just change it out because I want to enjoy the scent in my home and I change locations of scent. I don't put the same scent in the same spot every time. This one I put in my warmers last night. It's Mistress of Evil and it is my favorite villain, Maleficent. This smells so good. It's still available. So is the warmer. I cannot believe that warmer has not sold out yet. I love it and that is such a great wax. I also already went through Just One Bite that also is going right now in our home. This is really good. It's kind of spicy in a sense that it's, um, it's not like cinnamon, but it's almost like, um, it, it smells like Thanksgiving or Christmas with an apple scent. It smells really good. So I do have that one going right now. I already have these in my scent club. Um, almond croissant. I had that going in my kitchen this last week. Such a great one. If you guys haven't warmed this one, it would be a good mixer with something that's very potent. Like maybe one with just um, just one bite in the almond croissant would be really good together. If you don't like that spicy note, that would really calm it down. Eskimo Kiss has been in the catalog for a couple of years in a row. And this is a really good bedroom scent. I love the way it smells. Like kind of a bathroom bedroom scent, kind of spa-like. It's just really fresh and pretty. I do like this one. It's a really good in the scent um, packs too for like your scentsy buddies or like if you put it in your closet, under your seat, in your car. Really, really good ideas um, to be able to smell scentsy no matter where you are. This is my favorite. This is the Bright Side of Life. It's in my club. You already know that. I have several of these bars in backup. I will not ever be without this one. I put it in this room here today or was it yesterday? And it smells so good. I love it in the pods. 
and I love it in wax form. And then last but not least is the new NHL Fresh Ice. This one we got with our hockey warmers and it smells like uh, Olaf's warm hugs that Sensi also had. It smells so good, you guys. It is really fresh. It's very clean, kind of masculine, but with like a minty note to it. It's good. Trust me. So you guys are going to want to pick that up. So there you have it. That's what I've been going through the last probably two weeks. I've gotten through that. Um, I still have other waxes that I'm trying to, but I just wanted to show you guys what is my empties so that I can throw it away because it's trash day on Monday. Here's a bonus video for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!